Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Now. And today I'm making a quick tutorial on how to import a Eclipse Android project into Android Studio. Now, real quick, it seems like Google is trying to really push for a massive change for everyone to really go from Eclipse which was a very very popular program and still today it's a very popular program to create Android applications on and it's like Google's trying to push to go to Android Studio while still leaving the option of Eclipse but obviously you know when something's pushed to the side you're going to get less features you're going to get less updates and you know it's a, it, for, for the most part if you really want to create something worthwhile you're going to need what the main focus is. Obviously right now it's not that way, but the um, way I figure it is, especially if you get a new computer like I do and, and try and load the stuff up there, it, you might as well just migrate to the thing now. I mean, if you, you know, just do it now, it's better than, you know, waiting in and, um, and basically have to import everything you did. So anyways, as far as things goes, to import stuff, it's actually kind of easy. All I have to do, and this is one of the imported things I did, all I have to do is go to the File tab, go down to Import Project, and then uh, from here, you can go uh, find where your Eclipse projects are. Chances are is it's within the Documents area, and then um, from here, you can just find it's it's probably a work, uh, work space or something like that. So we're just going to import that, and uh, make sure you read this stuff and then do that, and try to import as much as possible. Now this takes a while to build up, and one thing I will tell you right now is some of the things may not work uh, during the translation. So for example with this application that you're seeing in the background, it, it works. In fact it's on the marketplace. That was a small application so it probably built pretty fast. Um, what's going to say if, if something didn't get... So it said a few things that didn't go through. But basically with this, it said pretty much everything made it through. Yeah, so this made it through. And um, and for those of you who don't know, this is the disability card application. I do have it on the marketplace for free. And um, in, in this case, it seemed like pretty much everything actually did pretty good on this import. I have to analyze the... Uh, stuff but for the most part it seems like everything went over pretty well but with the previous import um, there was actually a problem where it, it, it actually worked well on Eclipse I was able to build it and throw it on the marketplace a while back so if, if I change some, something from then now I, I kind of doubt it but if I did then yeah but really your chances of something not translating over is there so you need to keep that in mind when you are important things so it, how do you figure out what didn't translate over and what, what's not working it's just right click on any, anywhere on your code on any of the code and go to the a analyze and go to spec code and, and I really like this feature but uh, go to whole project and bigger your project is the longer it's going to take. For something like this, I don't think it's going to take that long because it's like two pages. And as you see here, it's pretty much done. And this will tell you most of everything that's wrong. And um, keep in mind, this doesn't say that because these things are wrong, you can't build it. It's just saying that these things are, um, you know, something that you might want to take a look at and, um, and they could easily be warnings and stuff, you know, like spelling and stuff like that. But anyways, it's been Craig Bennett, founder of our Tech Views and if you do have any questions on this, on 
moving your stuff from Eclipse to Android Studio and uh, making sure everything runs smoothly and everything and how, how to find all the errors. Now feel free to leave that in the, in the comment section. If also you have any tips then please leave that in the comment section so it can help not only other people but probably even myself because um, th this is new, like new, new stuff um, that Google is trying to pull so new that it's not it's not up to a lot of people's best entrance to do it right now but um, if either you're starting to code into Android uh, or maybe you buy a new computer and buy a new system and you got to download one or the other you might as well just jump over to the other one um, unless you've got a current project going on and even then you really can import the stuff so there's not too many reasons why you wouldn't do it unless if you know you're a company and there it's a mandatory thing but even then the uh, lead should really think about start switching their stuff over to Android Studio because sooner or later most likely later it, it's pretty much going to be like if, if you don't have it then you're going to be uh, having a lot of features left out and and currently there's actually quite a few features on here that you can't get in Eclipse that I actually do like a lot and that actually does deal with remote work so if you have a team remotely working on on a project it, it actually has quite a few things as you can see down here and it, it actually worked very 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 well but anyways, uh, this has been Craig Bennett, founder owner of Tech Few Snoop. You know where to get me on the questions and comments. And if you like this, then please leave a like, please subscribe, and please share. If you didn't like it, please leave a dislike and tell me why you didn't like it. And um, and please visit techviewsnoop.com and the Patreon campaign. And I hope you have a great day.